Hey guys, I'm gonna ruffle ruffle some feathers, but small caliber suck. 380 and under sucks. 38 special isn't even very good without the very best ammo in longer than two inch barrels. And 380 and under suck in anything long, shorter than like a uh, 3.8 inch barrel. They do. I have all the data. Most people that would say otherwise is fudlor. It's uh, bad arguments like it's better than nothing, which yeah it is. Um, Noisemaker might help, uh, but um, you want something that will stop someone, and it's not about killing someone. It's about stopping someone. Most people survive all handgun multiple shots most of the time. That's the statistics, and it's not about killing, it's about stopping someone, a determined attacker, from trying to kill you with a metal pipe, a machete, a knife, uh, or their own firearm. That's what it's about, stopping them as quickly as possible. I have all the actual data that will back up what I'm saying. Look at my four-part series. Three videos are up now, 9mm versus 45. Teaches you a lot about tissue crush and everything else. I'm going to back this up if we have time with real gel. Real gel is not clear gel. Clear gel is not real gel. Uh, water jugs are not real gel. With data from... Um, from Hornady Law Enforcement, from Lucky Gunner, from Ammo to Go, from Greg Ellifritz, from um, Evan Marshall's data, everything, guys. Small calibers suck. 9mm tissue crush is 1.78 cubic inches of tissue crush. Okay? A 380 ball, 9mm ball, 9mm macker off a .355 caliber ball sucks at stopping people. So we know that 1.78 tissue crush is not good. 45 ball is 2.89 tissue crush. Really 2.5 tissue crush to 2.89 tissue crush, that's a bare minimum. And I certainly like it above 3, like cheaper, crappier 9mm hollow points is in the low threes of tissue crush okay 45 ball that's kind of acceptable 38 even the best loads barely get 2.5 tissue crush in real gel okay 38 critical uh defense 110 10 grain 13 inches of penetration in real gel 0.5 expansion that equals 2.55 cubic inches of tissue crush it would take one and a half of those 38 rounds to equal one nine millimeter HST. So, I mean, that's a bare minimum. 38, nine millimeter Makarov ball. That's all not very good. That would need 2.13 rounds of nine millimeter ball, 30, 380 ball, nine millimeter Makarov ball to equal one nine millimeter 124 plus P HST. Over two rounds of 380 ball to equal one nine millimeter plus P uh, HST as far as tissue crush or 4.53 rounds needed equal one shot of 45 HST four and a half rounds of 380 ball to equal one 45 HST let's put that another way you would need 13 shots of 22 long rifle good hollow points Winchester varmint expand most of those would fail to actually reach penetration depth I think two out of five and even clear gel which is not real gel okay to equal 145 HST 13 rounds of 22 long rifle I'm not talking about killing someone in the back of the head or an accident I'm talking about trying to stop someone do you think you're gonna have the time to pull off 13 shots they're not gonna move versus the one shot to get off of a 45 HST it would take 6.37 rounds of 32 ball to equal 145 HST over six rounds of 380 ball to equal 145 HST Clear gel is not real gel. 9mm 124HST goes 6.3 inches farther in clear gel on Lucky Gunner. 124 plus P goes 5.3 inches farther in clear gel. This is velocity based, so even with the same diameter, smaller diameter, higher velocity, go a lot farther in clear gel, makes you think that it does better than it really does. 38 critical defense, 120, 110 grain, the best critical defense there is in 38. 1.1 inches farther in clear gel. The plus P goes 1.85 inches farther in clear gel and fails in real gel. 
according to Hornady themselves, 11.25 inches. You want at least 12 to 18 inches of penetration in real gel, not clear gel. 38 critical defense, 90 grain, 3 inches farther in clear gel and Lucky Gunner compared to real gel, Hornady law enforcement site. It goes 8.25 inches in real gel. A bad failure. 9mm MAC critical defense. 3.75 inches farther in clear gel. In real gel, it's a failure. 9.75 inches. I'm not trying to sell you ammo. I'm giving you real data. Okay. You want 12 to 18 inches of real, uh, real gel penetration. Reliable penetration. Not just one round. Out of five rounds fired, you want them all to penetrate that far. You want at least 1.5 times initial diameter. In my opinion, no matter what caliber, you want it to be at least 45 diameter going through the body when the hollow point expands or in 45 ball. That's what you need is at least 45 uh, expanded diameter. In my opinion, you need a minimum, a minimum of 2.5 inch cubic inches of tissue crush. Real world tells us that. And I'm much more comfortable with something like a good 9mm out of a 3.5 inch or longer barrel, like an HST, that's going to give me 3.8 inches of tissue crush. That's going to give me at least 350 foot pounds of energy. Evan Marshall's handgun stopping power. Yes, it's not the greatest data, but it is data. 45 hollow points, the better 45 hollow points give 91 and 96 one shot stops. Only a ball, only 62%. So ball kind of sucks. 9mm hollow points, 88% to 91% one shot stops. 9mm ball, only 70% in real world data they compiled. 38 hollow points, the best one, best one, 65 to 68%. So compare that to 9mm 45, even 38 sucks. Uh, and that is 49 in round nose lead or basically ball 49 percent boy does that suck 380 hollow points 67 to 70 percent for the best hollow points ball only 55 percent so look at 55 percent compared to you know better hollow points 88 to 96 percent in 9 millimeter and 45 32 hollow points 60 to 65 percent ball fmj only 49 percent Greg Elfritz, more useful data, alternate look at handgun stopping power when you look at the not incapacitated uh, percentage, i.e. a failure rate. That's what tells you pocket pistol calibers suck. 9mm, 13% failure rate, 38, 70%, 17% failure rate, 380, 16% failure rate, 32, it jumps way up to a 40% failure rate 22 31% failure rate 25 35% failure rate so you see when you jump under 380 the failure rate goes way up smaller caliber suck other than 327 magnum with the very best hollow points like a gold dot and critical defense i think even one out of five failed failed on lucky gunner and 7.62 talk with like smb jacket of hollow point does get about 16% uh inches of penetration and clear gel and does expand about one and a half times so those because of velocity are different so basically a 380 would suck as a primary as a backup or that's all you can get away with at work but really in modern times a car cm9 from long ago does way better uh, and now you got sig p365 if you need a pocket gun for work or a hellcat Nine millimeter with HSTs. Nine millimeter, three three and a half inch barrel or longer. Forty five, three and a half inch barrel or longer. Under that, you basically need HSTs, guys. Um, but that's way better than honestly even a 38, 38 two inch barrel. One point eight seven five, not very good. One point eight, not very good. You really need to go over two inches. Now a three inch or four inch 38 with the best hollow points, something really fast like a 125 grain underwood, doesn't necessarily suck. But even 38s pushing it, 380s pushing it in 2.8 inch barrels, LCPs, 3.2 inch barrels, Glock 42. Once you're in like 3.8 inch territory, a uh, Beretta Cheetah or uh, Smith & Wesson Easy, yes, with the best hollow points in 380 is not so shabby. Uh, I'm going to give you more data. I got a couple more minutes left. All right, guys, I'm sorry there's not a great way to film this, but I'll try to show you. This is Hornady's uh, law enforcement site. Got three different 38 loads and a 380 load, the critical duties. Okay, only one of these passes the mustard. 
and that's the 38 standard pressure 120 grit. One uh, 110 grain goes 15 inches of pen 13 inches of penetration, real gel, heavy clothing, and expands to 0.5. That's a good round. The 90 grain light sucks only 8.25 inches of penetration. Okay, that's a failure. It's got to re reach at least 12 inches, and really, you would want 15 inches in real gel, which would be like 21 inches in clear gel. Um, that's really what the experts say. Okay, let's look at their other one. Only 11 and a quarter. The plus P, just a tiny bit more expansion makes it penetrate not enough. The plus P is actually a worse round. Fails, doesn't meet 12 inches. And also the 380 90 grain FTX, which people recommend, is only 10 and a quarter inches of penetration. All right, let's skip ahead to uh, Lucky Gunners, let's look at 9mm Makarov. 13.5 inches penetration, but again, it's a failure in real gel data. And even if you look here, if one out of five rounds, if two out of five rounds are barely at the 12 inch minimum in clear gel, that's a failure, guys. That means real world, unless you got lucky, in real world, real tissue, organ, skin, people don't realize how... Uh, tough the body human body is 380 look from a glock 42 that's even a longer barrel almost all these suck they won't all five shots won't reliably get to penetration depths and expand an xdp is the best or an htp occasionally a few rounds you might get tumble damage um 38 special guys ain't so great you're not gonna get one and a half times expansion and penetration please thumbs up share subscribe